Hey YouTube, this is Praxis, and this is a total emergency situation. I have been doing some product reviews for a company, and they have a new flashlight. And they have told me that I can do a giveaway of two of these flashlights. If you would like to be a winner of one of these flashlights, then watch this video, and I explain to you later how you could win one of these flashlights. And I... Okay, yeah, it... I'm gonna review a few products, and I'm gonna... There's gonna be a giveaway, so watch the video. Learn about some products and you find out how you can win. Honestly, you probably deserve to get something just for having watched that opening. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, it's Praxis and it's Christmas time, which means flashlight time. I don't know if it's like this in your family, but in my family, whenever we have a Yankee swap, which is this thing where a bunch of people bring presents and you kind of like just trade them and then there's like people stealing presents from other people, really the Christmas spirit, right? Uh, there's an awful lot of flashlights. It just, it almost seems like it's kind of like a guy thing a lot. Like, I don't know if people think we can't see, we want, we want flashlights, I don't know, but Christmas time, flashlights, and I have had a lot of people ask me to do some reviews of flashlights. So I figured I'd kind of package them all into one video, which I think is gonna be actually more functional because that way, uh, you know, I've got a spread of different price ranges and uh, different features and everything. I think it'll be you know, more useful that way. So let's jump right in. I've got three flashlights here and they all run on the 18650 battery, which is, I can't believe I even remember that. It's like, who designed the name of that battery? I mean, couldn't you just call it Bruce? Or I, I don't know, it, I, it has something to do with the dimensions of it. Anyway, but they all use the same battery, which is like the vaping battery that people use for their vape stuff and everything. And I've got three of them. The first one I'm gonna talk about is from my EDC pack. I've had this for many years, uh, which suggests to you that I'm probably pretty pleased with it. It is made by E-Tech City. That's gonna be number one. This is the cheapest of them uh, at about 12 dollars and 50 cents, I believe is what I paid. Uh, the next one, is a step up in price, and it is made by Tac Niner. And if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I, I have been doing some stuff for Tac Niner in terms of like, like I've done some videos and things like that. Like I'm kind of like a spokesperson occasionally, but I am not afraid at all to rip into their products when I think they're garbage. Uh, if you if you doubt that at all, watch my screw together shovel video. They made this shovel that screws together. I'm not kind to that shovel in the review. Uh, I think it's actually entertaining to watch if you want to uh, you know, be sure that I'm going to be truthful about all their products. So anyway, they've got a new flashlight. You know, it doesn't really have a model number. It's just the TAC-9 or flashlight because they only make one at this point. So anyway, I'm gonna talk about that one. That one costs about twice as much as this one here. This one's about, I have a cheat sheet here, $25. So it's about twice as much as that one there. Uh, the last one here is, it's, it's kind of expensive. It's, I, I would not be able to afford to pay this for a flashlight myself, but it was sent to me. They asked me to do a review. It's by a company that I think is really great. They do great products. Uh, through night, uh, they ha had made a headlamp, which I just totally trashed in a, I, I don't mean like trash, like I said, it was terrible. I mean, like I beat the crap out of this thing and it still kept working. They make really solid products and they have this new flashlight called the through night TC. 15. And again, all three of these flashlights, they all run on that 1860 battery. So they, there's some equivalencies there, but $12.50, $25, $60. So I'm going to talk about all these and kind of compare them and see if any of this might be of interest to you. I guess I'll start with this uh, one that I've had in my pack for a while. Uh, like I said, you know, I, just, I don't like all these phalluses in front of me. I'm just going to just put them down there so they're at least not sticking up erect. And uh, let's talk about this guy, the E-Tech City flashlight. This has a lot of cool features on it. And like I said, it was really inexpensive and I've had it for several years. Uh, one of the coolest things about this is that it has a charging port that you can use to charge other things from. So if you charge up the battery in this, you can use it to charge up your cell phone later. Obviously you're draining power out of your flashlight. So, you know, that's a downside, but at least you have the choice to, you know, figure out, well, maybe I'd rather be able to make an emergency call versus, you know, use my flashlight right now. So that's kind of a cool feature. You can do that right out of the back and all of these just charge through a USB, uh, a USB connection. Uh, and this flashlight has a couple different settings. It has uh, a high setting and it has a medium setting and it has a strobe setting. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all it's got. It also, uh, what is kind of neat, it has a lantern setting where you turn it on 
and then you pull this out and it just has this lantern which does general illumination. And that's pretty cool. And I've been really happy with this flashlight. I think the only downsides of this flashlight are two, and they're pretty major actually. Let me turn that all off. The two downsides with this flashlight are, number one, it's not super waterproof. As you can see, the, this back panel just flips right open, you know, just with kind of picking at it with my, my finger. And, you know, the USB electronics are right in there. So it's not the kind of thing that you are going to really want to be getting wet very much. Uh, that, that could lead to some issues. Um, you know, that said, it's like it's only $12.50, you know, suck it up and just, you know, keep it dry. But it does have a pretty major issue. And I don't know if this is uh, endemic with a lot of lower cost flashlights like this. I said they're all using the same battery, the 18650 vaping battery. I, did, are 18650s used for anything outside vaping and flashlights? I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, that's, that's kind of where you can get them. At a vape shop. I, you, you know, the way I'm talking about this, you might think that I'm like a big vape guy. I'm not. I like watching other people do it in their cars because I think it looks ridiculous <laughs> when you're driving behind someone and they're billowing huge amounts of smoke. So I find it entertaining when I see other people do it, but I have no personal interest in it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Give us another one! Give us another one! But anyway, 18650, battery in here, but not really. It's got this weird one. The way that you charge it is, uh, well, the way you charge it is uh, through these ports in the back, but the way you replace the battery is opening up the back. You take it out, and it doesn't even look like a regular 18650 battery. It's got like extra electrodes b back here. The, the contact springs in the back, there's like two sets of them. It's weird. When this battery dies, whatever the hell this is, I mean, it says 18650. It's, it's claiming that it's an 18650 battery, but when this dies, this flashlight's going to be junk because I, you know, it, it's not a normal battery. I don't, I don't know why they had to like come up with their own there, but they did. So anyway, kind of cool flashlight. I've had it for a number of years. Uh, and I think the major problem is just that, you know, it doesn't take a standard battery and that that's kind of lame actually. And of course, like on the website, when you're buying it, it doesn't say like, you know, special feature, we use a weird 18650 that you'll never be able to find anywhere um, because they also just call it an 18650. So there you go. Let's jump up to this guy, the TAC 9. Oh, oh, one last thing. 300 lumens on this. I'm not a big lumens guy, which is why I didn't even think to mention it. 300 lumens is the max output of this, which I mean, God, that's fine. It's fine. I, I know there's these huge flashlights and like you can down an airplane with them if you point it up in the sky, but 300 lumens, that's, that's a lot for nighttime. And I, you know, I think you're going to do just fine with that. I do just fine with that anyway. Jumping up to the TAC 9er, which is three times as bright, 900 lumens. Uh, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this flashlight. One, one immediate downside I see with it is it's, it's a lot bigger than this E-Tech City flashlight, which, you know, that's not, I don't feel a need to compensate for anything. So having a small flashlight is actually what I prefer. This is, it's a little bit heavier and everything, I, you know, maybe it's more rugged as well, but it's, it's bigger and bigger, heavier things are bigger and heavier to pack. So I see that as being a downside, but in terms of functionality, it's pretty, pretty cool. It has a bright setting. Oh wait, you half click to go through, a, you know, kind of a medium setting and it has a strobe setting and it has an SOS setting, which I was testing this last night. And then I was realizing, you know, I'm, ca I'm broadcasting SOS on my walls in my house. I was hoping none of the neighbors were going to care about me and call the, the police or anything like that. Uh, it has a couple different uh, uh, focus settings and I can just do them on the back wall over here. It has kind of this broad setting and then you can kind of focus it in like that. So you can go between the two of those. Uh, in terms of waterproofness, uh, this one is kind of like, you know, you can splash, you can get splattered, you know, you could probably run it through the shower or something like that, but you, you, you're not going to be wanting to submerge this. It's like, um, what's it like IPX4 or something like that, like just below being real, really waterproof. But overall, it's a pretty decent flashlight. The way that you do the charging on it is that you unscrew this back cap here and it's gasketed. Uh, which, you know, really keeps these, uh, you know, this USB port under here uh, clean and safe under there. Whereas this one, you know, it just it has this little floppy thing. And uh, then to get at the, the battery, if you don't want to just charge, you want to get at the battery, you open up this, and the battery slides right in and out of this one. 
So overall, pretty cool. The only feature that this uh, cheap one has that this one doesn't is that this one can be used as uh, you know, a power supply for charging your phone or any other electronics that use USB. This one can't do that. But as a flashlight, you know, in terms of being waterproof and everything like that, pretty nice. And again, $25 on that one right there. So let's jump up to this one. Now, this is a really expensive flashlight. $60, you know, it is more than I can spend myself personally, but it was sent to me to test it out. And it, it is an awfully nice flashlight. It is more waterproof than this guy here, certainly more waterproof than this. And what I like about it is the size. It's even small, it, well, just slightly so, but it's even smaller than the one that I've been carrying for a while. So you know who's probably gonna supplant this one, especially since that battery, you know, who knows about that. Uh, has a lot of nice features uh, on it here. Uh, it just has one button for, uh, you know, on off and there's a little place for a lanyard here. It's got a little uh, gasketed place for doing your charging right through here. I, I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of a question about this in terms of this being really waterproof. It's, it's kind of a cork that sticks in there, but still it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that could get knocked off. Now for the waterproof testing, I'm gonna be testing the through night TC15 and the TAC Niner flashlight. The other one, it just, it doesn't, even claim that it's waterproof, so it's like, what's the point of even testing that? Now, the through night is supposedly be uh, is supposed to be able to be immersed in water, and it'll be totally fine uh, to do that. I'm also going to do the same test on this one. I mean, the the, the Tac9er is supposed to just be like it can get spritzed, you know, with water, uh, you know, sprayed in incidentally, like rained upon or whatever. But it's like, you know, why not just overkill it a little? So I'm I'm actually going to submerge them both, and we'll we'll, we'll yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, first, the Through Night TC15. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it on, and we can put it right under water there. And I'm gonna kind of flip it around a bit, agitate it, because I mean, you know, just placing it in there—that's that's not what we're talking about. So I'm shaking it around. So there's a lot of forces on the side of this thing as it's getting thrown around in there, and it seems all right. I mean, you know, you'd really want to do this a lot. I'll leave it in there for a while. And let's take the tac Niner and see the same thing. Now, before I do that, let me make sure all these seals are closed up. It's nice and tight there. All right, we're going to turn that one on and we'll drop that one in. So far, so good with the tac Niner. Kind of flipping it around. I'm not seeing any bubbles coming out of it. Oh, there's a few bubbles kind of coming out of this chamber. Yeah, where it kind of like does this thing here. There's some water getting in there, but let's see. I mean, the light's still on. We still get the light on. You can kind of use it as a squirt gun. All right. So this Tac Niner is rated to just be, you know, you kind of spray it or whatever. But clearly, I'm sticking it in here, and it's still going for now, anyway. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dry this off and open it up and see if any water got onto the inside in a way that I can tell. But, you know, between the two of these, they both seem like they held up pretty well and the Tac Niner is less than half the price of the Through Night. I, I still think the Through Night's great, but it's nice to know that the uh, Tac Niner can at least, for a little while, go through the same kind of treatment and, uh, and they're still working. Anyway, let's talk about this one. Uh, it has a few different settings that are all controlled through uh, this, this button at the front. This one is super bright. This has a super bright um, top setting of 2000 lumens, which is just insane. That's an enormous amount of, of light power. Right now, it's just on the Firefly mode. I'm gonna turn that off. And you do little uh, hold downs to go through all the different settings in this one. So overall, I mean, just really simple, but really compact and put together really well. But $60 for that one. Uh, what you're really getting is you're getting something that's smaller, you're getting something that's more waterproof, uh, and you're getting something that has a lot more light output. I don't see the light output as being super important to me, just because, like I said, it's like usually, you know, I'm just going for that, like, just a little bit of light at night kind of thing. But uh you know, definitely you can appreciate the difference in size between these guys. Uh, I was told, because I work with these guys a lot, that I can give away two of these, and I will explain to you how you could be the one that could win one of these 
Tac Niner new flashlights. The way I would like to do that uh, is, you know, a lot of times people just do like, you know, I don't know, you, you, you put a comment or something like that and then they got like random comment selectors or I honestly don't watch a lot of YouTube. I don't know how people do this thing. But uh, what I would like to do is if you would like to possibly be the person to receive this, uh, why don't we do the funniest story of a situation when you did not have a flashlight or something like that, but you wish that you did? So in the comments below, it, it, you know, in why you just give it a thumb, give a thumbs up, give a like button. I think that, that helps the channel. I don't really understand how or why, but give a like button, uh, go down and leave a comment about the most amusing, embarrassing, interesting, whatever story about a time when you wish you had a flashlight, but you didn't and hilarity ensued. And I guess I will just like uh, qualitatively pick what I, whatever I think is, is funny. So bear that in mind, you know, what makes Praxis laugh? Nothing. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.